Okay, the theme is the Olympics. Uh, it's got to be 10, 12, maybe 15 years ago. I was at a restaurant in Zurich, uh, and it was an American-themed restaurant. Uh, I'd been living there long enough that I got a little homesick, I guess, and I was with other Americans. We just kind of wanted to see what the American theme was. And I think it was the restaurant that brought me uh, corn chips and uh, not salsa, it was the cocktail sauce. And I informed them that those two didn't go together. And the waiter, who was Swiss and um, arrogant, I think that may be uh, being redundant, uh, said, well, they're both Americans. <laughs> yeah, I know, but they're from two completely, no, they're both Americans. At any rate, uh, these Americans, there was this big hubbub that uh, Carl Lewis, the Olympian, was coming in. And uh, I said, oh, I know him. And they're all, they know that I've got a sense of humor, they know that I kid around a lot, and they're, oh yeah, sure, Mackenzie, you know Carlos. No, 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 honest to God. And this was after his Olympic uh, uh, presentation where he won all the gold medals. And I, they're like completely uh, saying, no, 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 you don't know him. And I said, okay, so then uh, we're sitting at this table, and, and this whole field of people come in, 13, 14 people. And I look, and I said, oh, there he is right there. And, and I said, yeah, that's true. And I waited until they got settled down, and I walked over to the end of the table, and I stood at the end of the table until, and Carl was talking to a bunch of people, uh, all very athletic, and uh, he stopped and he looked to the end of the table and he looked at me, <laughs> he said, you know, I know you, I know I know you, but I don't know from where. And I said, um, well, it's from Houston, Texas, I worked on your knee a couple of times. He said, you worked in Dr. John Bandy's office. Uh, John Bandy is a chiropractor uh, who is also a diplomate in the ICAK, the International College of Applied Kinesiology. Uh, I've told this story. I fell into a bucket of shit, came out smelling like a rose. I worked for John for 18 months. Uh, learned more in that 18 months on how to deal in clinical practice with people and uh, allow them to heal themselves very efficiently than I would have any place else in the world, I believe. Uh, and John is still working with the University of Texas. Uh, he's up in Austin now. But he is who uh, the University of Houston, which Carl was at the University of Houston, Carl Lewis was at the University of Houston at that time. Uh, he was um, working with them. Now, uh, we would donate our time to the University of Houston because uh, they weren't sure that they wanted uh, their athletes going to chiropractors. In fact, the football players said that if they were found, if it was found out that they were going to a chiropractor, for uh, preventative health care or for maintenance, they could be dismissed from the squad because it was one of the things that made them less valuable. Now, just as an aside, I don't know if you remember uh, Billy White Shoes Johnson. He was a, a receiver or running back. He, or I don't know how they call him in football, sorry. No. Uh, he would catch the football when it was kicked and run like hell. And he was really, really good, and he always wore white shoes. So Billy White Shoes Johnson was his name. He was playing for Houston. He was from the University of uh, Pennsylvania, I believe. And he would talk to these kids, and he said, if I would have found kinesiology early in my career, I never would have had the surgeries I've had on my knees. And he said, I'd still be playing better ball than I am today. It was later on in his career. Uh, he uh, was winding it down. Uh, just a gentleman of man, and uh, some of what kinesiology has done, and a little bit of a relationship to the Olympics. www.micpeakperformance.com